So you probably stumbled on this video because you want to travel with your new boy. And uh, just stick with me and I'm going to explain um, what I've learned, my experiences traveling with my newborn and baby. All right, so it was for a four hour trip. I went from Alberta to Ontario with my one month old. And I'm glad I made that trip because it was like an airy hazard. It didn't, we didn't plan it, right? But it came. Shout out to my wonderful mama from school, university. She stays at Ontario and she told me to come over and then I went to I went down, I traveled with baby down to her and it was really a great time. I had a great time to that place with our family, with our beautiful family. I love you, Auntie Tosi. <laughs> All right, if you're seeing this, I love you so much. So what did I need to what did I do? What did I need to pack to go with him? So I packed all of our documents and one thing you need is a baby stroller. It will really come in handy at the airport. Yeah. So we I used it really greatly at the airport and that's my darling Aunt Tosi pushing our bags with a trolley when I was returning back from Ontario. Another thing you would need is a baby carrier and you will need to use the baby carrier to free your hands when you're passing through security. You see uh, two mix of videos here when I traveled from Alberta to Ontario, Ontario back to Alberta, and from Alberta to Nigeria. So this was when I was returning to Ontario and baby was uh, uh, drinking here. I had to pump breast milk for him in his bottle so that when he comes first year, I can give it to him. And when the plane is about to move, is it that baby is sucking or you use a headphone like I did here? It's always advised to nurse baby or bottle feed or offer a pacifier or an headphone like I did during takeoff and landing to help with air popping discomfort during takeoff or landing for baby. So definitely you need to carry baby's diaper bag, pack plenty of diapers, wipes, rash cream, extra outfits, blowouts can happen and blowout happened <laughs> during my first trip and a changing pack. Also, make sure that you book a bassinet if available. Some airlines offer a limited number of seats with bassinets for infants. But this can be a game changer for allowing your baby to sleep comfortably. And I rested watching my moving while baby was sleeping in his bassinet. Really, this bassinet helped a great deal. That was his diaper bag with me and I could access anything I wanted. I, I, I even changed them inside the bassinet and he really used it. He slept really well. So if your airline provides this, please book ahead. So you can book ahead, maybe tell them that you're coming with an infant. Of course, it will be your ticket itself. Tell them that you need a bassinet and they'll make sure they provide this. All right. So um, I couldn't get a lounge, right? Because it was full by the time I got to our stop over at Amsterdam. And so I just went to a restaurant, ordered some food for myself. And that's why I said the stroller was a game changer. I just put baby inside the stroller and sleeping peacefully. And prepared him so that I could eat and do whatever it is. <laughs> Great content for you guys. <laughs> yeah, so this was me the creating content, you know. At some point, I read my week. <laughs> so I could have some fresh air, right? Yeah. So if you really want to use a lounge, right, at your stopover, um, so this is me now when I was going back to Nigeria. This was now the long flight, right? I didn't need a stopover for the flight from um, Ontario to to Alberta. But going back to Nigeria was a long flight. We had a sister stopover at Amsterdam. And if you need a, a lounge, just make sure to book early because I learned that <laughs> you don't get to the airport and book a lounge because it might really be fun. That was what happened. But then I did not feel... I felt really comfortable in this restaurant. And I, I really enjoyed myself. I even slept, right? Because seriously, yeah. I slept, I did some work on my laptop and all that. I created content, heads, watched baby, breastfed baby. When we needed to use the restroom, we went to the restroom and used that. I would also say that you should come with uh, hand sanitizers and also make sure that you have sanitizers to sanitize everywhere in the airport i had this disinfectant sanitizers with me this disinfectant wipes with me and i used to clean the um the place of the airplane um sorry my <laughs> camera was <laughs> doing it yeah 
So I was just trying to show you. They had a I love this uh, airport also. Amsterdam airport is very beautiful. They had a changing room for mothers, so I quickly used it to change baby and I drew out the changing board. Look at me, I used my hand sanitizer first and then I went to grab his um his wipes, his disinfectant wipes to clean um the whole surface where I was going to put in. They, they had a changing pad, but I also had my changing pad with me. So sanitize, make sure your hand sanitizer is in your diaper bag for baby. Also make sure the disinfectant wipes is also in your bag for baby. Make sure you have a changing pad. So these are all the things that I've had in my diaper bag for him. So that's me bringing out the wipes. Cut it. Disinfectant wipes. Yes. So... And this really was really helpful for me because even in the help, um, in the in the plane, I used it because I used it to clean the bassinet, to clean the place I was going to put in, just like I'm cleaning this place now. So I had that with me, and I did that. All right, so just enjoy <laughs> my my process and all that. I'm glad I recorded um, these things. Yeah. Traveling alone with a newborn can really be daunting and really challenging. But if you prepare, you would find it interesting. I actually found it interesting because I had prepared for it and I was ready for whatever it is. And so, yeah, so we moved on and um, we left Amsterdam and I got a gift again from KLM. <laughs> By now, I should be an ambassador because KLM, I brought people for you. <laughs> All right, this was, uh, these are pictures, some few pictures. I'm rounding up soon. This was, yeah, one of the pictures we took. This place, we had a blowout. <laughs> yeah, and thank God for angels. People love to help women with newborns. I had help. I'm, I can't even, I'm grateful for it. I had a lot of help. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will leave more other tips here for you to also use. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.